Come with me. I'll get you out of here. Really? I don't have to wait anymore? I'll take you to the Bastion. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Asker says there's ghosts. Really? That's what he tells you. We'll talk about this later. Okay. I love ghosts. Come on. You've got to go now. I should tell you. Oh, come on. I'll understand. I was unconscious, so I couldn't come see you. Unconscious? Really? Like when all the lights go out and everything? That's right. Wow. Why were you unconscious? There were these, uh... Come on. We gotta keep moving. you tell me what happened to you? I don't want you to worry. Really? I'm the son of the biggest daredevil in the world, and you don't want to worry me? Yeah, well, the less you know, the less you have to worry about. Come on. Don't trouble yourself. I'll take care of everything. Good to see you, Jax. Have you thought about what you want to do next? No. 
I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with you first, Dawkins. Ah, so you know. You being this friendly after everything you've done, I don't like it, and I don't trust you. Why didn't you just tell me who you were from the start? I thought it might be confusing, and I knew you had some personal business to deal with first. But now that you're done, we can finally start our work. The Skyans have a considerable head start, so we don't have much time. Why the hell should I get mixed up in any of this? <laughs> you have no other choice, Jax. You won't be able to get rid of that alien infection without my help. And besides, how long is it since you had a good dose of Elix or Mana? You don't have enough strength or magic to fight, and the infection is only making it worse. I'm the only one who can save you. I know more about this kind of disease than anyone else. I guess you're right. We might as well work together. Let me start by explaining exactly what's happening to you. The Skyanids that bit you are highly enhanced with a purple substance not unlike our blue Elix. That's why I've taken to calling it Dark Elix. The whole thing is rather confusing, but both our blue Elix and this new purple stuff have a few things in common. They both come from a different world. And they can both cause terrible mutations while also unleashing incredible powers. But this Dark Elix is more like a disease. It's highly infectious, and once it finds a suitable host, it replicates at a rapid rate. How did you escape the hybrid's machine? When you defeated that pathetic hybrid form, the logical part of the machine was destroyed. And that's when Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins started coming back. Eventually, I managed to open the capsule I was stuck in. But it was a few weeks before I could move properly or use my muscles again. Can't say I'm quite my old self yet. But at least I'm free of the machine's destructive thoughts. And that's good enough for now. Skyans. Did you come up with the name? The alien invaders gave it to themselves. I was able to intercept some of their transmissions, which is how I know they're getting ready for the next phase of their invasion. You can understand them? It's not difficult. I've spent many lifetimes in the pursuit of scientific knowledge. And the language of science and mathematical algorithms is universal. The Skyans are no exception. You have a lot of explaining to do. You sent a signal into space when you were still the hybrid, and then this strange object appears in the sky. Just what the hell did you do? You have to understand, although I still remember much of my time as the hybrid, many of the machine's thoughts and memories were wiped out. But it appears the hybrid opened a wormhole near Magalan not long before its encounter with you. A what? A wormhole. A phenomenon capable of bridging time and space. And clearly our unwanted visitors used it to get here. Right. And I guess them attacking us now is just pure coincidence. I understand why you're angry. I would be skeptical too, but I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. I ask myself these questions every damn day, believe me. But those memories are gone. The hybrid machine is a thing of the past, and there's nothing I can do about it. We have to look forward, try to figure it all out before the sky ends overwhelm us. All right, if you know so much about these sky ends, tell me how to stop them. 
They've come with a huge number of warriors and creatures to take over our planet. Harness it for their own use. Why don't you tell me something I don't know? Their formers are already operational. They're using them to pump Dark Elix into the ground. That makes the areas around these formers extremely dangerous. I wouldn't recommend approaching them without the best equipment possible and a substantial military force. Get to the point. In the end, that's what it boils down to. Military force and equipment. We need strong allies who will support our cause. If we are to stand a chance against the overwhelming strength of the Sky Ants, the Sixth Power will have to become the greatest human military force in history. That's the best you can come up with? Brute force and military power? That's only the beginning. We have a lot of work ahead of us, Jax. First, the Bastion is going to need improvements if it's going to house a growing army. And we can't lose sight of the movements of enemy troops and their Skyanid creatures. If we see them making any significant advances anywhere, we'll have to intervene immediately. And of course, the first thing we need is a suitable faction we can form an alliance with. When are you going to do something about my infection? I'm already working on it. The study of Dark Elix is at the top of my agenda. We still have time. I don't believe you're going to mutate into a Skyanid creature anytime soon. And you have a strong will. If Dark Elix works anything like the blue substance we know, you stand a good chance. Don't fuck with me. I don't want this thing to kill me just because you want to play war. Look, it's going to take time. I need peace and quiet to conduct my research. In the meantime, you need to prepare for the coming battles with the Sky Ants. Why would any faction want to join forces with us? The only way we can stop the Sky Ants' advance is with an iron will and an army of fearless warriors. But all these factions have been fighting each other as long as they can remember, so the only solution is a new central power. One that has complete autonomy and independence. As soon as the others see that humanity stands a chance against the invaders, they'll join us. It's up to you to recruit them and train them. And find your old strength. You're the only one who can pull them out of their apathy and fear. You must prepare them for the coming war. They'll be fighting to stop the total extinction of humanity. Be their hero. Be their leader, their last hope of salvation, Beast of Zakor. Don't call me that. It's ancient history, and it isn't true anymore. And yet, people still talk about your fight with the Hybrid, about what you did in the war against the Alps. You might be an outsider to them now, but they'll learn to trust you again. You're a fucking hypocrite, you know that? Like you had nothing to do with the Hybrid. I'm weak and I'm burnt out. And the machine that controlled me back then doesn't exist anymore. It's your willpower that saved us all from the hybrid. And you still have it, just as strong as it ever was. So go out there, convince them to fight with us against the Skyans, and do it before it's too late. Improvements for the Bastion? What kind of improvements, exactly? Well, the first thing we need to do is clear the surrounding area of anything dangerous. We can't take the next step with those things hounding us all the time. Is that all? You're the expert in killing things. I'm sure you can handle it. Okay. Let's say I start looking for an ally to join your sixth power. There are so many feuds. All the factions in Magalon are at each other's throats. But the only way we can hope to defeat the Skyans is by building an army stronger than theirs. So speak to the leaders of each faction. Find out who would make the best and strongest ally. Join them, poach their warriors, or, I don't know, capture their commanding officers. I don't care how you do it. 
Just do whatever it takes to make the Bastion as powerful as it can be. And get moving. The enemy is practically on our doorstep. About the military forces of the other factions. Kaya, the powerful Berserker Mage, is gathering her troops in the borderlands of Tavar, ready to protect the land from potential dangers. The Berserkers were never particularly adept at foreign policy. Okay. However, we still can't say which faction would be most effective as an ally. We need to get more information about the other factions. Time to check our progress. All right. What do we still need to do? Well, the Bastion still isn't fortified well enough. First of all, we need to eliminate the beasts in the surrounding areas. I'll have to start thinking about who I want as comrades in arms. We still need more information on the other factions. I can either join one of the major factions, or speak to enough important figures to get an idea of their military strength. My son is still out there somewhere. And let's not forget, there's the small matter of my infection. That's for you to deal with. Good. Then we know it needs to be done. And remember, the sooner you join a faction... Yeah, I know. Things will be harder without the kind of training and equipment I can get from them. That's right. That was fun. I wish we could spend more time together. Well, you know, I have to... Yeah, I know. You have lots to do. But still, it'd be really great if you came to visit sometime. Stick with Asker. He'll look after you while I'm gone. I'm gonna take a look around. Maybe I can find traces of the spirits Asker was talking about. Just don't make me wait too long. The future of the world is at stake. Father, is it true you're going to rebuild the Bastion? Can I come with you? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, come on! I won't go wandering off. I promise. And what if we're attacked by wild animals? You'll take care of me. Come on, please? Okay, but do exactly what I tell you. Yeah, yeah! I'll be as quiet as a mouse and keep my head down. Stay close behind me, okay? Wow. Oh. 
just can't do that yet. Is it always this exciting? What do you mean? Well, Mother didn't usually take me when she went out like this. I always had to stay in the fort. I mean, exciting stuff happens there too, but... Well, I know the fort already. But I've never been out here my whole life. Then you should keep in mind how dangerous it is. Then it's a good thing I brought you. Have you killed many people? It's been known to happen. Some people just like to make trouble. I know it happens sometimes, but I don't want people to die. I get it, but... Just try to stay out of trouble, as much as you can from now on, okay? Ugh, my head. This damn infection. If I don't get a handle on it, that thing is going to happen to me. Don't get too close to the Formers or their creatures until you've regained enough of your strength. We can't afford to lose you. No one else has your skills, or your ability to get things done. You sure know how to motivate people.
see so many people joining the cause. Everyone says this whole thing would fall apart without you. You'd get by. Yeah, maybe. But it's sure gonna be easier with you. Anyway, welcome to the Bastion. Reasons. Mother always said you'd save the world if you could. Really? She said that. So what have you been doing all this time? Trying to convince the factions to get ready for the big threat that was coming. Cool. I bet they all listened to you, didn't they? Well, kinda. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. What was I saying again? When I grew up, I want to be just like you. What's cool about ghosts? No. You can't touch them. They just float around and no one can beat them. And you know why? Why is that? Well, because they're not really there. You could see them, but that's all. You know what I mean? Uh huh. yet. No. No. Just can't do that yet.
not coming. That's close enough, shithead. What do you want? A Morgon patrol? And it looks like you made a good score. That's our fucking business. Hey, those berserkers from the World Heart in the West didn't send you, did they? Because if so, you better understand that those assholes attacked first. We was just defending ourselves. In the name of Ravak. Yeah. So they lost some people, what can I say? They shouldn't have fucked with us. Well, shit happens, right? Take a breath. I don't want any trouble. First you get in my face, then you want to back down? Spineless piece of shit. If I were you, I'd turn around and get the fuck out of here, right now. Otherwise, we're gonna teach you about pain. A long, hard lesson. You really talking to me like that? Who the fuck do you think you are? Give me whatever you've looted from the Berserkers, and I'll let you go. <laughs> nice joke. Hear me laughing? Well then, I'll give you what you want. I'm with you! Where did you hear that? The kids at the fort used to call me that. I don't know what it means, but it didn't sound nice. I guess I really should have come around more often. Don't pay any attention to that kind of talk. Sometimes other kids are pretty stupid, huh?
Just can't do that yet. No, just can't do that yet. I'm sure glad you're not an Alb commander anymore. Why is that? The Albs are so cold and unfriendly, just like the Icelands where they live. It's mostly because they take so much Elix. It takes away their emotions. Well, I think it's from that white plastic armor they wear. It must be freezing in that. What about your father? What was he like? I never got to meet my real father. I grew up with the Albs. I didn't know where I really came from until a few years ago. My real parents were here with the Berserkers. Wardek was my foster father. And he, uh, he was an Alp commander, just like me. Is he still alive? No idea. Could be. I haven't seen him since. Maybe he's still out there somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Who knows?
Just can't do that yet.
Just can't do that yet. No, 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 